Hey, I'm Dave with Mux, and in this video, you'll learn how to create shorter clips of videos that exist in your Mux library using only the Mux Video API. Let me show you a basic example of how this works. I have this existing video in my Mux dashboard, and the beginning of this video has a couple of artifacts that I'd like to trim out. Maybe I'm shaking my head here a little bit too much, and there's this part of the webcam software I'm using that got captured. I don't want that in the final video. So I'd really like to start this video probably somewhere around 11 seconds. We're gonna use a tool called Postman in order to make the clipping request to the Mux API. There's a couple of pieces of information that we're going to need in order to make the request. First, you're going to need to get your API access tokens, which can be found under the settings menu in the Mux dashboard. You can create a brand new token ID and a token secret by clicking on the generate new token button. You'll need this access token ID and secret key in order to authenticate with your Mux account. Keep in mind that the secret key is basically a password for your Mux account, so only share it with those that you trust. Now I'm going to head over to Postman to make the API request. We're gonna get started by creating a brand new request. First, we'll set up the authorization settings for our request. In the username field, paste your access token ID, and in the password field, paste your secret key. Let's verify this is working by sending a quick get request to the Mux API. We're seeing some results in the response body, so it looks like it's working. I'm gonna go back to my Mux dashboard, click on assets, and then go to the video that needs to be trimmed. Now we need to make sure that we have the asset ID, which is the unique identifier for this video that we're working with. To create a new clip from this video, we're going to send a post request to the assets endpoint. In this request, we'll define a payload with some specific options set. You can see an input array that contains a link to the specific Mux asset that we're referencing. I'm going to copy the asset ID and then paste it right where this placeholder is in the link. You can see this link uses a special format to reference assets that already exist on Mux. Now the start time for this clip is going to be right around 11 seconds. I want the end time to go through the current end of the clip, so I'm not gonna set a parameter for that. The playback policy will make sure that the video can be publicly viewed. We're all set here. I'm gonna go ahead and send this post request off. Our response says the new asset is preparing and we also have the ID for the new asset. I'm gonna go back to my Mux dashboard and view all of the assets that exist. All right, this is looking good. We have a new video created with a shorter duration. And if I go into it, I can see that it's starting off with a much better intro. Hey, I'm Dave with Mux, and in this video, we're going to talk about... That's all there is to it. You've created your first clip with the Mux Video API.